In this video, we'll be trying to solve yet another question on exact equations. So we are given the question 2xy plus exponential y dx plus x squared plus x exponential y dy equal to zero. We are asked to solve this exact equation. Now what do we do? First things first, let's take down the solution to this question. So solution. The question here is simply 2xy plus exponential y dx plus x squared plus x exponential y dy is equal to zero. I have this. The first step in solving questions of this nature would be let m be equal to the coefficient of the x. So m is equal to coefficients of dx, which is simply this one here. So that's the value of m. So we can have that m. So we can have that m is equal to 2xy plus exponential y. All right, that's this one here, coefficient of dy. Your next task is to find the value of partial m all over partial y. Let's get partial m all over partial y. What do we have there? For this one here, if I differentiate 2xy with respect to y, all I have to do is differentiate the y here. It gives you 1. 1 times 2x gives you 2x. So I have that as 2x. So I'm having this as 2x plus differentiate exponential y. It gives you exponential y. So I have this as 2x exponential y. That's my first task. Next up, we we'll say let n, right, assume n to be equal to the coefficient of dy. So n is equal to coefficient of dy. So what do we have there? From here, the coefficient of dy is this x squared plus x exponential y. So n is equal to x squared plus x exponential y. The next task here is to find the value of partial n. This is partial. That's differentiate n with respect to x in this case. Right? And that will be equal to, if I differentiate x squared here, you get 2x. So I have 2x. Plus, if I differentiate x exponential y, all I have to do is differentiate the x here. If I differentiate x here, it gives you 1. 1 times exponential y gives you exponential y. All right, so this gives you plus exponential y. So I have this. So this is the first tax you do, okay? Now, the next thing you do is that you equate it, right? Equate partial m all over partial y to partial n all over partial x and see if they have the same value. Now, if I look at this, you can see that partial m partial y will give you 2x plus exponential y. Also, partial n partial x is equal to 2x plus exponential y. So since this is equal to this, it means that this is an exact equation and a function. So since this is equal to this, which is equal to 2x plus exponential y, we can see hence a function, hence a function f of x, y being equal to c exists. This exists. All right. And this exists such that you have that partial f such that such that partial f all over partial x is equal to m. All right. It exists such that partial f over partial x is equal to m. And if you want to get the value of partial f from here, all we have to do is move the x this way here. So we have that partial f is equal to m times partial x. So we are now here. Let's get the value of f. To get the value of f here, all we have to do is integrate. So integrating true, integrating true, what do we have there? We have the integral of partial f is equal to the integral of 
m times partial x so we have this now integrating this we know that integral will cancel differential so we'll have that f will be equal to the integral of m times partial x let's put the value of m into this function now while you're integrating this you note that your answer becomes this plus a constant in terms of y okay so this is how we do this so we integrate m with respect to x then we'll add a constant with respect to y let's put the value of m let's go back to see what's the value of m again from this we said that m is equal to 2xy plus exponential y so we can say that f is equal to the integral of 2xy plus exponential y this then partial x plus c of y now let's get this done in solving this we'll have that f is equal to we integrate this with respect to x that's this so how do you integrate x if i integrate x if you integrate x what do you get there now to, to integrate x all you have to do is to add a plus one to this the part there is one so add one to this all over i'm having one plus one and this is equal to x squared all over two so if i integrate x i'll get x squared all over two all right so this becomes two into x squared all over two that's integrating x here bring back your y plus if i integrate a constant that's exponential y this is called a constant because there's no x term here with respect to x it simply becomes x times that constant so you have x exponential y all right so this becomes plus x exponential y then plus the constant with respect to y so you have this from here this cancels this so what we we'll have here is that we we'll have that f is equal to this is x squared y so i'm having this as x squared y plus what i have next is x exponential y x exponential y plus c of y so we have this so basically this becomes the function we have this let's call this asterisk all right let's call this asterisk so we have this this is equation asterisk so we have this now at this point the next thing we want to find is partial f over partial y so differentiate this function here with respect to y what do you have first things first for the first term here if i differentiate y here it gives you one 1 times x squared gives you x squared. So that means the first one here, I have this as x squared plus, for this term here, differentiate exponential y, you get exponential y. Exponential y, of course, times x gives you x exponential y. So I'm having x exponential y plus, if I differentiate a y function, right, with respect to y, that gives you c prime of y. Basically, I would have this term here. So note that the second thing you have is this, basically. All right. So differentiating this term here with respect to y, you have this. Now at this point here, the next thing you have to do here is that you equate, equate, equate partial f over partial y to n. All right. If I equate that, partial f over partial y is simply x squared plus x exponential y plus c prime of y it's equal to what's the value of n again let's check the value of n the value of n we have here is x squared plus x exponential y so let's see this so this gives you this gives you x squared plus x exponential y so you have this that's the value of n now how do we solve this let's get the value of c prime of y i'll move these two terms over to the other side of the equation so i'll be left with c prime of y so c prime of y it's equal to it's equal to let's write down these terms first that gives you x squared plus x exponential y this comes over here becomes negative that becomes minus x squared this comes over here becomes negative that becomes minus x exponential y now in solving this we have c prime of y it's equal to of course this cancels this so x squared minus x squared it goes off 
x exponential y minus x exponential y goes up. So I'm left here with what there? 0. Right, so I have 0 here. Okay, so if c prime of y is equal to 0, our next task would be to find the value of c, c of y. All right, and to find the value of c of y, we'll have to integrate. So we now integrate. So integrate c prime of y would be equal to integrating 0. And if I do that, if I integrate c prime of y, that gives you c of y is equal to a particular constant. Let's call it k, for instance. Of course, for us to get 0, that means we are integrating a constant. So c of y is equal to k. We would substitute this value into equation asterisk. So substitute. Substitute. Substitute c of y into equation asterisk. Where is asterisk? Let's see. Um, for the asterisk we have, let's see. Uh, where's our equation asterisk? Let's see. Okay, so this is it. That's simply x squared y plus x exponential y plus c of y. x squared y, so f, f of, let's call it xy, since you have an xy term, that's equal to x squared y plus x exponential y plus you have plus what there plus c of y we will set c of y is equal to what there k so you have plus k just to confirm this let's see x squared y plus x exponential y um okay plus c of y which we called k so we have this all right so this is the value of f of x y and we said the final thing to do here after this point is to equate f of x y to c now equating f of x y to c you'd have that f of x y that's um x squared plus x exponential y plus k it's equal to c we have two different constants that's this and this so let's solve them so solving for this we have that x squared plus x exponential y it's equal to c plus k comes over here becomes what there minus k so from here you have your value as x squared plus x exponential y is equal to if a constant c is if a constant k is being separated from a second constant c you have another constant all right so basically what we are saying is this if i have a constant let's say 9 and then minus a second constant let's say 2 this will give you 7 which on its own is still a constant, all right? So a constant subtracting a constant or being subtracted from a constant still gives you a constant. So what do we call this constant? Let's call the constant Z, just to show that's a different constant. So in essence, the solution to this equation is simply X squared plus X exponential Y, it's equal to a constant Z. But if you want, you could still use C, all right? Where or just to make it different, you can call it C, perhaps a small one like this. This works too. So instead of using Z, you can still use C and subscript 1. That's a different constant. Okay, uh, let me just notice there. I'll just replace this because I want to use C. Basically, that's the concept. See this. All right. So I can do this. Where I can say where, where, or oh, that should be below this, right? Yep. Come here. You see where, but before then, let me get my answer here. So this becomes the answer to the question. You have this. Okay. See this. Where where C minus K is equal to C subscript one. Uh, that's just for you know. So basically, this is how you solve this question. Alright, so guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button like this video all right leave a comment if you enjoyed this video tell us you enjoyed the video in the comment section don't forget to also subscribe all right if it's your first time here or you're yet to subscribe please do want to subscribe hit the bell icon and select all so that you get notified whenever we upload new content then finally share this video to your friends so that they can also learn thank you and see you in our next class Get more by joining our Differential Equations channel membership or visit www.joneemanual.com courses.
and get the differential equations made easy course. Both links in video description. Get more by joining our Differential Equations channel membership or visit www.joniemanual.com slash courses and get the Differential Equations Made Easy course. Both links in video description.